I lived out of my car for a year at one point and for another six months at another. And um, I have a big, big fear of getting pulled over. And the fear is not stemming from actually getting a ticket. Uh, the fear is actually the interaction with the officer. See, what will, what will typically happen is the officer will look in my car and see that, you know, the living arrangement or they'll see some other things. And they tend to ask some very pointy questions. What were you doing in this area? They look at my license and they see that I'm 100 miles away from home, which was not uncommon when I was living in my car because there were some comfortable places to sleep where I could, um, where the air quality was better and I could leave my windows open. So uh, it wasn't uncommon for me to be 50, 100 miles away from the home that was listed on the ID. And the officer will ask very pointy questions. What were you doing in town? Where did you go? You know, um, and it's very rapid. I understand they have a job to do, so they, they want to get these questions out of the way very fast. Um, and it can be really embarrassing, depending on your current situation. Oh, and uh, the other problem is that even though I was living in my car, I had some pretty nice things. Nice clothing, a nice computer, and um, it, it's inconsistent. Oh, the reason I live in my car is not necessarily financial. Oh, it was convenient. I needed to, the car anyway. Oh, it, 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 it helps. It, it, it makes me more mobile. I see a job that's several states away. I don't have to worry about breaking a lease. Oh, there are a lot of reasons other than financial to live in the car, right? And, but it, it, it you know, and it, I know the officer has a job. I'm not going to give a half hour lecture on the benefits of living in the car, but it, I get all these pointy questions. Oh, well, the nice thing is that when I do get, get over those questions, I, I, I rarely ever get a ticket. Oh, I think it's just because of the oddity of it all. It completely throws the officer off. Oh, there might be a sympathy issue. The officer might think that he gives me a ticket. It's just going to it's just going to come out of the other pocket through welfare, you know, for the city. And so he doesn't even bother. It could be a combination of those factors. And so that's another fringe benefit that I, that I used to get when I lived in, lived in my car. Um, sometimes the other reason I have this big fear of getting pulled over is I have weird things in my car. Oh. Uh, I, I like to eat all kinds of um, wildlife. Oh, just the other day I, I had some um, seaweed that I had picked from a beach. Oh, sometimes weird uh, uh, plants. Oh, and uh, it, it's just questionable why I have all that stuff in the car. It could look like some kind of drug. And, uh, and, and just the, the fact that I have to answer any sort of pointy question is always difficult for me. Um, sometimes when I fly, I have weird things. Like I like to go to foreign countries and take bags and bags of foreign coins that I can buy at below the exchange rate. And I often have a, uh, get lots and lots of pointy questions when I go through security. Where do you get all this money? You know, and uh, you know, uh, weird things like that. And uh, I, at least when I go to the airport, I prepare myself for it. I don't prepare to get pulled over every time I go out and drive. Thanks for watching.